In the early hours of June the 6th, 1944, planes of British and American airborne divisions took off for France. While in the channel below, sailed the ships carrying the men of the 21st Army Group who had been chosen for the assault. British and Canadian troops began to push a wedge-shaped salient eastward toward the city of Caen. German resistance was growing stiffer. It was in this area that the German commander hoped to wear down the British armour. This calculation gave the Americans their chance. The trees and the streets, the very stones of Paris, helped to rid the city of the Germans. Young and old, men and women, worked feverishly to fortify their town. From all sides, from Orléans in the south, from Chartres, from Dreux further north, the victorious Allied armies were closing in on the capital. Soon they raced through the suburbs, through the Bois de Boulogne, and now the first Allied soldiers were in the very heart of Paris. Few of us who are there will forget these scenes which you are seeing now. Yet the liberation of Paris was by no means complete. German snipers and desperate fascists were still holding out in flats and schools, offices all over Paris. <laughs> 